Hello, my fellow pool enthusiasts. Today I have a drill that is great for beginners and veterans alike. This drill can be set up using cut shots varying in difficulty, but I recommend setting up simple cut shots for your first few attempts. Begin by marking the placement of the cue ball and the object ball in the cut shot you're going to practice. I recommend using paper reinforcement stickers as ball placement markers. I will include a link to my favorite brand of paper reinforcement stickers in this video's description. You can also use tape or a smudge of powder to mark the placement of your balls. Ball placement consistency is very important in this drill. After you have marked the placement of the object ball and the cue ball in the cut shot, make the shot putting maximum top spin on the cue ball. Make sure you pay attention to where the cue ball hits the rail. Repeat the shot several times. Mark the spot on the rail where your cue ball consistently hits. Next, you're going to place the one ball in front of the spot you marked on the rail. Then place a line of solids going down the rail in consecutive order with a stripe between each solid. I usually complete this drill with five to seven solid balls. Once the balls are lined up tightly along the rail, you're going to carefully remove the stripes. This will leave you a line of solid balls going up the rail, all spaced exactly one ball apart. Now it is time to complete the drill. Set up the cut shot and pocket the ball using maximum top spin on the cue ball. The cue ball should make contact with the first ball on the rail, in this case the one ball. After you hit the one ball, set up the shot again using the one ball as the object ball. Now I will explain the process that I use to determine where to hit the cue ball so it deflects off the object ball and hits the next ball on the rail. First, I find the tangent line of the one ball and find out where it intersects the rail. If you don't know how to find the tangent line, check out my video on the 90 degree rule. I will include a link in this video's description. In this example, the tangent line intersects the three ball. And since I am familiar with the 90 degree rule, I know that if I pocket the one ball with a firm center ball hit, also called a stun shot, the cue ball will deflect along the path of the tangent line and hit the three ball. I also know that to hit the one ball on the rail, I gave the cue ball maximum topspin. And since the two ball was halfway between the one and the three ball, I can reason that I have to hit the cue ball between center ball and maximum top to hit the two ball on the rail. Since the three ball is on the tangent line, it's a pretty easy one to figure out. All I need to do is pocket the two ball with the stun shot. The four ball is behind the tangent line, so I know I'm going to have to put some draw on the cue ball. I'm going to attempt to hit the four ball by hitting the cue ball about a tip below center. I ended up hitting the cue ball a little lower than I had planned, but I still made contact with the four ball. In order to make contact with the five ball, I know I'm going to have to play the shot with even more backspin. To hit the balls on the rail in consecutive order, I had to drop the hit point on the cue ball one full tip for each ball. I'm going to continue with this pattern when determining where to hit the cue ball in order to make contact with the five ball. And it was a direct hit. I have completed this drill hundreds of times, so I'm making it look pretty easy. If you struggle with pocketing the ball and hitting one of the balls on the rail, continue to practice that shot until you can complete it successfully several times in a row. I'm going to demonstrate this drill again with a slightly different cut angle. In this first shot, I know I will hit the one ball if I hit the cue ball with maximum top spin. My next step is to find out where the tangent line meets the rail. The tangent line intersects with the front half of the four ball. With the information I have available, I figured that in order to hit the two ball, I needed to hit the cue ball a half a tip below the maximum top point on the cue ball. Since the three ball is past the tangent line, I know I'm going to have to hit the cue ball above center. I can also reason that I have to hit the cue ball below the point that I hit in order to make contact with the two ball. 
So I decided to hit the cue ball about a half a tip above center in order to make contact with the three ball. Since the four ball is on the tangent line, I know I can make contact with it if I pocket the three ball and hit the cue ball with a stun shot. The five ball is behind the tangent line, so I know I will need to hit the cue ball with a draw shot. At this cut angle, I have had to drop my hit point on the cue ball, a half a tip, in order to hit each ball on the rail in consecutive order. So to hit the five ball, I'm going to continue with this pattern and hit the cue ball a half a tip below center. Completing this drill with a wide variety of cut shots will greatly increase your cue ball control. Don't forget to check out my other videos that are designed specifically for newer players. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to show your support. Until next time, play hard and have fun. Bye!